Hello everyone, welcome to the devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence and I thank you and I praise you for this beautiful day that you have given us. Thank you for our life and our health. Thank you, Father God, for your constant companionship. Thank you because your eyes are always upon us, watching out for our well-being, warning us of danger ahead. Father, I thank you and I praise you for the work of your Holy Spirit that transforms and renews. Father, I ask that you will touch those who have gone astray, touch those who have walked away from your path, who once knew you and have decided to take another route. Father, I ask that you will touch them with that gentle touch of the Holy Spirit. Call them once again, Father God. Chase them until their heart is softened. Only your work, your Holy Spirit can do the work. Father, I ask you that you will be with our youth who are hurting, who are going through so many stressors in life, and at school, at work, in society, with social media. Father God, I ask that you will place a hedge of protection around them and guide and direct them as well. Father, I thank you and I praise you for your abundant love that you give us your grace and your mercy father you are so good so kind so merciful and i thank you and i praise you father i ask that you'll be with this devotional guide and direct us open up our spiritual eyes and ears for what you have in store for us today in jesus name amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled Beautiful Hands. It was written by Judith Stone and translated by Maria Elena Cardona. Our biblical base comes from Isaiah 58, 10 and 11. So says the word of God. If you extend your soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then your light shall draw in the darkness, and your darkness shall be as the noonday. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones. You shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters do not fail. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. If aging is notable anywhere on the body, it's the hands. And since we use them so much, they suffer wear and tear, and there is no cream or treatment that can prevent it. As for the other parts of the body, their surgery, liposuction, massages, and oils, in short, a series of things that cannot be used on the hands to improve or hide the passing of years. As I meditate on this, I thought about how beautiful the hands are, that no matter how worn or battered they are, they are instruments of God, such as those full of kindness and love, who give generously without thinking about what it may cost them or the difficulties that they may have to face. Blessed hands that, for the glory of God, always work doing good. Hands that arrange, prepare, cultivate, build. How rich and abundant the grace of God is in those hands. How agile, attentive, flexible, and careful. So tender and yet with how much strength they support the weakest and embrace them and encourage them to continue. If your hands, although worn and stained, are hands like those, don't hide them with shame. On the contrary, allow others to see the marks of Jesus' hands in yours and long to have hands as Christian, as kind and holy as yours, wise hands that, with grace from heaven, were diligently serving their brothers and this world delicious bread from heaven. Amen.
my brothers and sisters, allow your hands to be the instrument of our Heavenly Father. Allow your hands to guide and encourage. Allow your life to be used by your Father to be a light to others. Whether your hands are helping, whether your feet are moving, whether your mouth is speaking words of life and encouragement and love, allow yourselves to be instruments in the hands of the Father. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. And now we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children, now and forever. Amen.